Beloved friends and intercessors, this week the Lord has placed in my heart a burden to bring a subject that I, will be, I believe will stretch us all, including me. This is, I'm not the most comfortable with this because I'm a preacher of holiness and for some people apparently this runs a little bit different than holiness. However, I believe we have plenty of scriptural base and conviction and joy in the Holy Spirit to bring this subject to you. The subject for this week is run to win. Run to win. 1 Corinthians 9.24 Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So run to win. I want to share seven principles this week to change the mentality of defeat into a mentality of victory. Someone said, winning is not everything, but one thing to win is. And I believe that. Friends, let's focus in the transformative power of victory in our spiritual lives. Winning is more than a result. It's a mindset, a divine purpose directed by God into our lives. So the subject, specific subject for today is to win is divine. In the Bible, in the New Living Translation, the word uh, win appears 22 times and the word victory 116 times. Winning is important for God. Victory is not merely a human aspiration. It is part of God's nature. Throughout Scripture, we see that God never loses. He rather gives, sends, and invests in our lives. And I have Scriptures, and I have a lot of teaching, but most of it I will not be able to share in these short videos. So I decided I'm going to put the full notes in, your, in the comments on the videos. So you will have for each video, for each subject, daily subject, you will have the notes. And I hope it's for edification and for joy to your life. First Chronicles 29, 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. So victory is power and is and power is part of the essence of God. Revelation 6 2 says that Jesus rode out to win many battles and gain the victory. First Samuel 14 6, Jonathan declares, Nothing can hinder the Lord. He can win a battle, whether he has many warriors or just a few. My dear friends, maybe you have been in this dilemma and you say, I want to multiply. I want to be fruitful. I want to see my group full of people and multiplying, but I cannot do it. Well, even if there are just a few of you, if you come to agreement before the Lord today that you will plant a new group, you will do it. By the grace of God, you're going to do it because God can win through many people or with a few. God bless you. Keep running the race and keep winning.